Xiaomi! This one we're gonna go all the way to 8K 30 frames per second, but for the purpose of this video, we're in a 4K 60 at the moment. This is wide angle lens, and this has look like. It looks nice. Very stable. Of course, you can compare this smartphone to any other smartphone on this channel. Same place, different time, different weather. Today we have a beautiful weather, shooting directly to the sun, switching to the main lens. Also extremely stable with optical stabilization. A bit of vlogging style for you. Vlogging style. And let's try a telephoto. We can switch lenses during the recording in 4K60. And the telephoto, that's the maximum, it's a 15x. Can you read the license plate? Yes, we can. It's an excellent telephoto. One of the best in the market. Going back to the wide angle. Going back to the other side. It's my ride. Do we have macro? Yes, we do have a macro, so you can see all kinds of details in the wide angle lens, which is great. How quick it is? Quick main lens. Quick telephoto. Also, all the lenses are equipped with autofocus. We cannot switch lenses front and back during the recording in 4K60. Front facing camera is going to overexpose the sky. Well, it will. Check this out directly to the sun and I'm out of the frame to compensate quickly. Super nice, it's getting windy. And the microphones on a smartphone are the best I've heard ever in any smartphone. I love that. Even when I'm screen recording, the audio is the same a great quality. With many smartphones, it's completely different. So, uh, audio is also the best in the market. We do have autofocus in front facing camera. Uh, for example, if I want to show you some details. Now, there is no autofocus, it's fixed focus, but still cool. Zoom all the way to 15x, which is quite stable. Good. Zoom all the way to 120, which is like mind blowing. Very stable. Let's do 120. I don't think this is what this will work, but it's okay. I can also do that balcony. Bam. Bam. And bam. Now let's see it with AI. Wow. That is Incredible. Wow. And if we deeper look to the camera, then we do have a pro in 4K 30, 4K 60, and 8K 30, and 23 millimeters, 40 millimeters. We do have a log which we can shoot in 4K 30 and 4K 60, which is super cool. We do have ultra raw for the pictures, all the way to 120 millimeters. We do have 8K. I realize I'm switching quite fast, but that's what it is. 8K 30 with a zoom, 6X. I think it's super cool. All right, and 15X for the regular zoom. That's the front-facing camera, also with a subtitle teleprompter, HDR, filters, all kinds of filters and beauty mode HDR for the portrait and zoom for the photo is 120 so that is really impressive for this camera 120 and if we deeper look into the camera we do have a couple of cool features like a pro which you can shoot in 50 megapixel and ultra raw and in the video department we can shoot in log if you wanted to in 4k 60 
which is super cool, and even 8K30, but not in log, the regular option. We do have Leica Authentic, Leica Vibrant also. Filters, tons of them. With uh, video, you can up to a 15x zoom, front facing camera. DVD is a little bit speed up. We do have teleprompter, so you can read during the video if you want to. And HDR, scanning your face. In the photo department, you can go all the way to 120, which is impressive. But that's all electronic zoom. Well, ignite with AI, which will like artificially embrace your pictures, I guess. Well, we do have Master Cinema, which is looking cinematic with all kinds of loots, filters, cinematic, front facing camera in the portrait mode, scanning your face really quickly, HD portrait, that's what it is, and documents, you can scan from a distance, yeah, it's, it's really cool, HD scan, we do have a movie mode, which will look like a movie, does it look like a movie, I don't know, maybe, it's in 30 frames per second, not like in the Vivo, which is 60, much better, and director mode, which is cool because you can add more cameras, shoot in log if you want to in 4K60, add some filters, and also play around with the microphone. Cool. And let's continue to the dual video, so you can have two cameras at the same time, which is also super cool for vlogging, I guess. During the video, we took a couple of pictures, so when we zoom, it's okay, I guess. But let me show you not the screen of the smartphone, but the pictures directly to the timeline. Front facing camera. Conclusion, there is a little bit of room to improve with uh, autofocus and uh, front facing camera and switching lenses during recording front and back. Other than that, perfect, but still they improved from full HD to 4K in the front facing camera and that count on something. Yeah. So there you go.